You've all heard about Facebook's recent problems protecting people's personal information. Huge story. It's been ongoing. Well, a lot of apps and websites are updating their terms of service. I'm talking about the terms that users must accept before using an app. Now most people just click agree, and they don't read the fine print on what they're agreeing to. They just want to use the app. They're probably not aware of what they've agreed to. So as a public service, we're going to look at a few right now. Uh, this is just to help you out. For example, you should know this. Twitter, when you click agree on Twitter, you agree that the opinions of mentally ill strangers are the guiding principle in your life. <laughs> That's what you're agreeing to. The food delivery app Postmates, if you click agree on Postmates, you agree that you are definitely too high to drive to Wendy's right now. It's real. HBO streaming app HBO Go, when you click agree on HBO Go, you agree to always think fondly about the ex whose password you're using. Yeah. Uber, when you click agree on Uber, you agree to be ogled through a rear view mirror by a man named Amgar. <laughs> the, wa the weight loss app MyFitnessPal, if you click agree on MyFitnessPal, you agree to use this app only once, then feel ashamed every time you see it. <laughs> yeah. We've all been there. The music discovery app Shazam. When you click agree on Shazam, you agree to constantly ruin parties by holding up your phone and saying, shh, it's not getting it. <laughs> the handyman app TaskRabbit. When you click agree on TaskRabbit, you agree that you are not a real man, and if this guy ends up banging your wife, well, you deserve it. <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat, when you click agree on Snapchat, you agree that you are a 14-year-old girl slash 53-year-old <laughs> undercover cop. <laughs> and finally, Lyft. When you click agree on Lyft, you agree that every time you use the app, you'll say out loud, please be Alexis, please be Alexis, <laughs> Nissan Versa again. <laughs>